Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Quinn here, and today we are going to be seeing if LeBron James could save the Cleveland Cavaliers and bring them back to bring them back into the playoffs. So we are going to simulate the first season. Then after the first season, I am going to rebuild this team. If you want to see what if the Cavs had Kyrie, LeBron, and Embiid, please hit that like button so I know that you want to see that. Because the Cavaliers could have had um, Joel Embiid if they drafted him over Anthony Bennett. Yeah, but that means they also probably wouldn't have had Kevin Love. Actually, I'm sure they would have still made that work, but you never know. If you want to see that video, please hit the like button. I will be back at the end of this season, though. All right, so we sucked at the end of the season. We were absolutely terrible. We lost, like, the last 15 games. You know, Osman's MVP. Garbage, get him out of here. You know what? No. He's not being MVP. LBJ is. All right, John Morant wins rookie of the year. Schroeder wins six-man. Kawhi wins defense. Bam wins most improved. And Doc Rivers, okay, I guess we really didn't deserve Coach of the Year. Doc Rivers wins Coach of the Year, though. So we are second in the East. So Cleveland wouldn't have made playoffs without LeBron, but since LeBron's on the team, Cleveland made playoffs. And looking like we're going to beat LeBron's old team in Miami there. Um, I think we should be fine until we reach um, Milwaukee, so I'm hoping Brooklyn beats them, but it's not looking like it. 3-2 us. Milwaukee gets out. Oh, no, we lost to Philly. We lost to Philly. Let's go Milwaukee. Yeah. We lost to Philly. Oh, come on. Who did well? Okay, Bucks won championship. Sexton went crazy. LeBron and Bede Simmons Harris. <sighs> LeBron, you kind of sucked in game seven, but okay. All right, now we are actually going to be rebuilding this team. Um. We're going to go to the draft lot. Alright guys, we will have the 28th pick in this draft. So I am going to use that draft to get a point guard because um, I think that was our problem, ha not having a good point guard on the team. But no excuses. Well, I guess I didn't rebuild the team. Um, Alright, we need a point guard. Wow. Wow. This isn't a point guard, but 2K had him possibly going, like, 3, 4. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy because he's just by far best available. No clue how he was still there. Um, Alright, now we're going to head over to rookie signing. He is a 72. We will accept him. Go over here. Drummond declined. Um... Alright, I'm not sure if we will re-sign Drummond, but we'll see what we can get. I would love to get Anthony Davis here, but we'd have no money. Uh, unless we try and trade Kevin Love and Larry Nance for maybe next year's pick, or I don't know. I don't think either of them are necessary on this team, but... Salary dump anywhere? That's definitely a salary dump, but we're not getting anything. Pick from the Hawks. This is a one year rebuild, so. We'll pick up PJ Washington and Malik Monk. And we'll head over to free agency and try our best to pick up AD. Still don't have enough money. So we will need to trade Exum and Osman. Hopefully there's just like a huge salary dump and we can get basically no... We're going to pick up two first round or two picks. I'm not sure if they're first or not. 
but I am going to try and pick up AD here. If we do, that would be nice, because it will be LeBron and AD back together. No trade clause. Player option. Offer the contract. View offers, and he's coming to the Cavs, hopefully. All right, it was all the no trade clause, I'm assuming. We have Anthony Davis. He's a green. And he signs. We get the best free agent to sign with our team. Good thing we got rid of Love because Love is completely not necessary right now. So what I think we will go do is maybe trade another big contract like Malik Monk. And we'll try and trade Darius Garland. We'll see if we can get a older point guard but a better point guard. Wow. I didn't realize their trade value would be this high. Right, we're going to pick up Tobias Harris and Matisse Thibel. Um, Tobias Harris will run our power forward this season. And Sexton will be shooting guard. Now all we will need to do is trade Washington and Thibel for a starting caliber point guard, hopefully. Uh, maybe like Spencer. What? I may just have to pull the trigger on that. All these offers are terrible other than the Bucks want to give us Chris Middleton. Okay, done deal. Make Chris Middleton a shooting guard. Now we'll trade Sexton and Kevin Porter. And hopefully now... Why is there... Wow, this these players have a lot of trade value. Center or point guard? No, we will pick up Zach Levine. We are going to make Levine a small forward. We'll make Middleton back to his usual um, position at small forward and we're going to try and trade both of them to get a like really good player not looking like there is anything um, but we've got some good pieces. We're going to go to the next season so I can just see how our rotation would look. Cause it is kind of hard not being able to see how it looks. Alright, so they want all of these players coming off our bench. Because literally every single player we have is a position we don't need. Literally, we need point guard, shooting guard, and center. That may be the perfect deal right there. Yeah, so we're going to pick up Donovan Mitchell to be our shooting guard for this season. Actually, I am going to try and trade him, see if we can get maybe like Paul George from him. If we can't, though, we will just keep him. That was 91 Seth Curry. I might trade for Russ. If there's no PG. And yeah. I think I am going to trade for Russ. And maybe make him a shooting guard. Depending on what we get. Um, so now we will trade Middleton. And Tony Bradley. And hopefully get a point guard. Or a center out of this. John Wall trade looks nice. Here we're going to go with the John Wall trade, and we are going to make we're going to make um, Westbrook a shooting guard, and John Wall our point guard. Now all we need is a bench and a center. Um, didn't realize we had Draymond, so we will trade Draymond here with Daniel Gafford. Taking a few minutes. Alright, here we go. 
Buddy Heal would be a nice six man off the bench. Of course, he's six man is off the bench. Yeah, so we will pick up Buddy Heal there. And now we will turn Belitza House. And we have some great first round picks that we will trade them with. Not looking like there is anything. I may have to make my own trade. And yes, I am going to. So we need a center here. So I'm going to put Belitza in and look for a center that we could get for our team. Bam Adebayo is just always the perfect center. They want John Wall. Nope. I'll give you a pick. They want John Wall still. The second. Another second. Another first. One more first. One more first. And a second. Why not be so stubborn? And you give me Bruce Roberts. Really? Alright, I'll give you Buddy Healed. Deal, I probably gave them way more picks than I had to there. So now we have John Wall, Russell Westbrook, LeBron, Davis, Bam Adebayo, Nemanja Bialica, and not Jeremy Lin, because we're going to go trade everyone on the bench to make a good bench for this team. We're going to pick up Patrick Beverly, and he can be our star, our backup shooting guard. Now we will need to trade Belitza and Tyreek Evans. See what we can get for these two. It probably won't be great, but a lot of things are better than Bielitsa and him and Tyreek Evans. Bench doesn't need to be uh, incredible because we've got such great starters that the bench won't matter very much. So the start of it, the start of this video was like to see how they do, and now the end of this video is just playing around with the team making a crazy good team with the Cavaliers so so there won't be like a normal Cavaliers rebuild for a while because this is basically a Cavaliers rebuild other than we got LeBron on the start alright so we're gonna trade Dwayne Dedman and Matt Mooney and we are going to maybe pick up Justice Winslow no, we're going to pick up Andre Roberson, and we're going to make Roberson a small forward. And I think that wraps up our bench. It would be Roberson, Beverly, Fernando, and Morris. That is looking good. Um, our bench can't really score other than Monte Morris and Bruno Fernando a bit, I think. Great defensive bench. Great, um, like, I think we have a good bit of scoring on our starters with LeBron, Westbrook, Wall, and Adebayo. Not a whole bunch of shooting, but I think we will still do very well this year. We are going to simulate one weekend of the season, and then we are going to look at the power rankings to see if we are first or not. We did beat the Bucks and the Magic and Raptors. See if we can beat the Bucks one more time. And we do only 97 to 96, but a win is a win. All right, we beat the Sixers. Now we are going to go over to the power rankings. We, the Hawks, last season, what? That doesn't make any sense. We should be completely number one. We have John Wall, Russell Westbrook, LeBron, Davis and Bam. And then our bench is pretty good too. Alright, so I'll be back at the end of the season. This will be the last season in this video. See if we can go 82 and 0 or if we can win a championship. Fill out the roster. Uh, we're not going to go 82 and 0 because we lost to the Wizards and the Nets. Um, Alec Burks. If you know, you know. Alec Burks. Every team wants him. But alright, I'll be back in a minute. 
All right, so Luka Doncic wins MVP. Atkins wins Rookie of the Year. Brandon Clark wins Sixth Man. Kawhi wins Defense. Laurie Markham wins Most Improved. And I think our coach, John Beeline, wins Coach of the Year. I think. Um, we are the first seed in the East facing up against Miami. Again, I thought we would have had a better record, but... We only went 58 and 24. Slight improvement from last year, though our team is way better. If we lose in the first round, if we lose in the first round, we nearly lost in the first round. We're still not out of it, though. Home court advantage. I'm going to play the game and jump in just in case, because if not, this will be the end of the video. So I'll be back once we are in the game. Alright, so we are in 2K now. Russell... And he drills it. Alright, we got a foul here. Foul! Foul! What are you doing? So we just wasted five seconds on the clock for my team not to foul them. Reggie Jackson shooting free throws. This is a very slight chance we actually win this game. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I'm going to try my best. Um. I need my starters in. We're gonna head over to game plan. Put Westbrook in. And there are our starters. Not sure why Beverly was in, but. Alright. Player of the game, Jimmy Buckets. We probably could have won if I jumped in like two minutes ago, but. I don't even think there's a chance. Westbrook for three, he missed, and that's game. Or is it? We need a foul right away, and they need to miss both free throws. I don't think we're going to win. No. Alright, I'm just going to say thank you for watching today's video. If you want to see a full game played with this team, please like the video. I might, it might happen, it might not, but therefore, LeBron James somehow cannot bring the Cavs back to win the championship. Again, he's losing in the first round to the 8th seed Miami Heat. That's just so tough to say. Our team was so good. Alright, thank you all for watching today's video. It's been Quinn. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm out. See ya!